Flipgrid is an application that I learned how to use in my EDCO 305 class, and ever since I learned everything about it, I have implemented it in a lot of my lessons that I've taught so far, and I will definitely use it in my internship because it's a helpful tool, and being a PE major, it doesn't take away from the physical part of it as much as, much as other technology um, does. So to use Flipgrid, you have to create one. Um, and all that's super easy. It goes step by step. So once you've created one, and you can do one as an educator or as a student. So I did one as an educator, and anybody's video pops up on mine. So the code for mine that I did is WN39X5. And you just click that button should take you right to it. Yep. So my fourth graders created Flipgrid and the questions that they answered were tell me five things you learned about the game of badminton. Tell me something you found interesting about it. Tell me something you really liked about any of the lessons that I taught and what is something you would have uh, me do in future lessons so I can make it more fun for my future classes. Um, so what happens is, is they click on it and these are the videos that were made and they answered every single question on there and as they're videoing, let's see, bless. So as they're videoing, as you can see, I'm not really going to record it, um, but it has the questions so that way they don't have to memorize the questions they can actually you know read it as they're going so I feel like that would make it a lot more easier <sighs> let's see exit out of it and like I said earlier as soon as a video is published as soon as they walk through all the steps it is going to be published to my Flipgrid so I can see all of them from any device that I use as long as I have that Flipgrid application. So let's go through step by step how to create one real quick. So they're going to go to the plus just like we did. Video it. It can be 90 seconds. That's the maximum. It can be 10 seconds if they can get all the questions answered. So we're going to pause it. I'm going to click the green button to go forward. Yeah, the picture, so you take a selfie or however you want to take your picture. You can have the students use emojis and draw on their picture. Um, so this could be my hat, just like the example down there. I have glasses on. He has glasses on and a parrot. Makes it kind of fun so that way the students can be involved and make it fun for themselves. So the last step, you enter your name and submit my video. As soon as the students hit submit my video that goes straight to mine and I will be able to see it. I don't know, we're just going to cancel out of that. So Flipgrid is really easy to use like I said before so that way the students are not being taken away from the physical part of uh, PE as much as you would think. Um, and it's real simple. It takes, you know, like I said, 90 seconds maximum and they probably are going to have to do it you know, multiple times, um, just so they get comfortable with seeing themselves on the screen. I know I did when I created mine. Uh, but this way, it can give you feedback real quick as to what your students know and what they don't know, what you want to cover um, in the future lessons, what you don't need to cover because they already know that information. It's really good for pre and post testing, which is actually what I used it for um, in my very first lesson. So Flipgrid is an application that I will always, always, always use. Uh, because it's just it's fun and it's super easy and students uh, kind of have fun with it. I mean, like you can tell. So, hope you enjoyed my video and that helped.